Hey, what's going on? My name is Justin Case, and I just got back from ETH Denver and got all of this swag. So uh, I'm pretty psyched about it. Yes, I went there to learn about D-Pin projects, went to see a lot of D-Pin events and heard about them, and I'm going to talk about the top 10 that I found there. But first of all, I'm going to show you the swag I got. So this is from a company called uh, Defi, but I think that should be pronounced DeFi. I, I admit I don't pronounce things that well, but DeFi seems a lot cooler to pronounce that. Uh, I also got this shirt. I don't always wear white. In fact, I never wear white. But hey, it's free swag, so I took it, and it's from Impossible Cloud Network. That's cool. And I got these shorts. I was surprised. I never saw a place give you shorts away, but uh, it's from uh, Somnia, like Insomnia. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm ready for spring break right now. I'm going to drive all the way to the beach and hang out on the beach wearing all of this stuff. Or maybe not. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you do want to learn more about opportunities out there of different projects that are becoming available, please do like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now, many of these uh, projects that I found at ETH Denver we're all about nodes. Uh, generally, not nodes that they want you to buy and install in your house, although some of them are. But a lot of them are simply apps to put on your phone or, um, well, software to put on your computer. So I'm going to go through these right now. Uh, but uh, I, I have to say, I've always kind of been in fear of nodes. I just... You know, once you put something on your home network, I don't know what happens. Uh, is uh, is all your own files safe? I worry. Um, I don't know what uh, you know. This software is touching. I know it has access to all that stuff. Um, well, or maybe it doesn't have access to all that stuff. I don't know. So I do worry, but uh, that is a discussion for another day. Let's talk about the projects. So uh, the first project that I found uh, was this guy who uh, came from Vietnam. He just traveled 26 hours to come to this event, and he was from Inferix.io, redefining AI training and visual computing with decentralized GPUs. Now, he's one of the few uh, that actually wanted you to install or rather uh, have a decentralized node at your house. Um, so at the bottom, it did have an option. Uh, let me see. No, nope, doesn't have it at the bottom. My bad. Has it uh, here in the uh, in the menu, uh, node sale to get a node, but it's sold out right now. So um, I guess a lot of people are interested. I haven't researched it a lot. I just want to show you what I found when I was there. But uh, you know, get on the get on the waiting list. Why not? Right? What what's the worst thing that could happen? All right, the next one was uh, a person who I guess was a friend from someone from Iotex. She came and sat next to us, and she was from, uh, again, I'm not great with names, uh, Accurist. Accurist? Oh, that's what I'm going to call it. Mobile hardware. Smartphones are the most battle-tested device worldwide. Billions rely on their security with built-in trusted execution environments and best-in-class hardware security modules. Smartphones offer a higher level of security than servers ever can. So I believe uh, this is an app for your phone. I haven't really researched it that much here, uh, but I, I definitely am hoping to meet with this person and do an interview tomorrow so I can know more about the project. But it's definitely interesting. Um, I asked them, why the smartphone? Why not uh, your computer? And uh, you know, her answer was because like, you know, smartphones always running. It's always on. There are, there are millions of smartphones. Everyone carries a smartphone. So I get that. I mean, I put my computer to sleep normally when I'm not using it. I close my laptop when I'm done. How many people have desktops anymore? Um, I have one. Okay. But something to think about. And that brings me to another guy who was sitting next to us who was representing Heisenberg.so. I didn't know people use .so. Uh, wonder what, what that's to represent. But anyway, Heisenberg.so. Contribute your compute power earn rewards. And I could uh, click on learn more here. Uh, 
A node is your bridge to decentralized AI. By running a Heisenberg node, your idle CPU power fuels data agents as they work to transform raw data into AI ready intelligence. So you got to download the node, power data agents and earn rewards. Um, so that is definitely software. I think if I click on start now, no, it's, 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 uh, it's going to make me go through a whole process. I don't want to go through the process, but looked interesting. Also looked like there was a wait list right there. So it may not be ready, but an interesting project. Then I met up with another two guys later on after uh, eating breakfast burritos. And that was Minion Lab. Adopt your minions now in the first on-chain fully autonomous agent. Uh, so, yeah, they already have 66,276 million minions online. And I believe when you go to download now, yep, it is for something that you can use a Chrome extension uh yeah on your browser or uh you know android uh looks like i'm gonna say i'm gonna assume android from google play or windows or mac os x so i mean you can install it it seems like possibly on a phone but also uh on your desktop so i haven't really researched this or what they want you to do i mean we could go here and let me let me just see what it says besides that um here you go Minion Lab is a decentralized network of autonomous AI agents called Minions that turn your idle device into an intelligent data miner. Unlike traditional bandwidth or compute sharing projects, our Minions actively navigate the internet, collect specialized data, and deliver it to AI developers in need of high quality data sets. There you go. I guess it scrapes the internet for you. Uh, kind of like grass, which I am testing right now, but I don't want to talk about it quite yet. So another interesting project to put on one of your devices at home. Uh, another one was uprock.com. Turn your internet into AI fueled rewards. Yes, you know what? This was all about uh, most of these meetings that I went to were about D-PIN in AI. It seems like deep pin in AI or the connection into saying we need to make a node. Uh, we need to take that extra compute power that other people have and use it rather than them personally spending a lot of energy and electricity to power their AI. But anyway, uh, earn passive income while contributing to the fastest growing mobile first decentralized data network. Join 2.6 million users and start earning in just two minutes. So yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely an app on your phone, although when I see people playing games there, I get kind of worried. Um, let's see, share your internet, download the Uprock app and keep it running in the background to contribute to the Uprock network, get rewarded or passive income for your contributions and boost earnings by referring friends, playing games and shopping online. Fuel AI innovation, stake your claim on the future by powering real-time AI tools and fueling the next wave of a technological breakthrough. So. Uh, it also looks like it might work on your home computer, but uh, yeah, something worth checking out. Hopefully, I'll be able to talk to one of these guys tomorrow. We will see. Uh, the next one was I, I still want to call them still want to call them Defy, but uh, I'll call them uh, Defy. <laughs> um, Defy, I think is what he said. Defy. Uh, and uh, Defi wants to build the best framework to build D-PIN apps. So they're trying to be a, a D-PIN solution. Uh, in order to do that, uh, let me let me try to find it here. You know what? I don't have it here, but there is a link to their product, and I saw it while I was there. Uh, this is all obviously to get people to build with Defi. But um, they actually have nodes you can buy for somewhere around $300 to build a decentralized network for them. Uh, I will find that link again and put it in the description below along with all of these others. Uh, but yeah, interesting stuff. Okay. Oh, well, there it is right there. There. It's a defi.pro, I guess, is the... Uh, well, I'll, like I said, I'll put it in below. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, maybe worth buying. Not sure if you're interested. Uh, yeah, $2.99. Okay. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is Rome. 
Rome, revolutionizing global connectivity by leveraging DPIN. And uh, my, my guess is, uh, well, it says here, add Wi-Fi to earn. So I guess it's an app on your phone uh, to, uh, to set something up. Or, oh, wait, hey, they got miners right here. So you can get a miner from them, which is like many of the other miners we see. Everyone's jumping on the Wi-Fi bandwagon here. Uh, you could do it with Rome at weroam.xyz. Then there is Dawn. Uh, Dawn, decentralized broadband. So Dawn is a decentralized wireless network for delivering internet service. Hmm, once again, sounds like um, the same thing that we just saw before. Through the protocol and hardware, property owners or residents have the opportunity to buy and sell internet capacity in an area around them, empowering users to operate as their own internet providers. So let's see. <coughs> they want us to download the Dawn Validator browser extension. So it's a browser extension. Uh, create an account and then keep the validator running to earn rewards. So it doesn't actually seem like it's control of our Wi-Fi. Uh, that's, that's confusing. I don't see a lot of other information here to find out, but I will probably add them to my Discord and hopefully talk about them tomorrow. Okay, the last one I want to talk about is a weird one that someone was chatting with me about, which is entropy. Just entropy.lol, and entropy is the worst first D-pin meme coin. Uh, apparently, uh, you can uh, mine this coin by getting this piece of hardware to mine, and uh, yeah, yeah, it actually, I asked them, I said, what, what does this do? And the guy told me it does nothing. It does nothing. We, it's a meme. We just, you're getting a piece of hardware that confirms who you are and you mine coin by getting this piece of hardware. I, I have no idea a lot about this project, but, uh, it, it's funny and it's really pink. So I'm definitely going to go check it out shortly. I think you have to start by going to their Discord and then finding out how you can go about uh, setting up this uh, piece of hardware. I'm not sure if you can just buy it off of like Amazon or what the deal is, but I will be researching it and I will be talking about it with you. So uh, that's pretty much it for me. I'm heading tomorrow to uh, this other uh, D-Pin Day. Check that out probably for the first uh, two hours in the morning. Uh, that's uh, that's over at a hotel. And then heading over to this bar for Real World ETH Denver. And that's where I think all of the different D-Pin projects are going to be. As you can see, GeoNet, Impossible Cloud Network, NovaNet, Anyone, Anchor, Accurist, Cuckoo, and a whole bunch of others are going to be there. And so I'm excited to talk to them and check it out in apparently what it says to be about 14 hours from now. I'm also trying to get into the state of D-Pen, uh, this invitation-only dinner that night. But um, I, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for them to let me in. They have not let me in. Uh, it says uh, pending, pending approval. Really sad, waiting for it. But if you want to know about projects like this, if you want me to just jump on and talk to you about like this, please do like this video and subscribe to my channel. Always appreciate it. And um, yeah, I've been, I must have been drinking a lot of stuff to make me hyper today because I'm a little hyper. <laughs> okay, you guys get some sleep. Have a great night.